Hi, I'm Kikers and I'm here in Manila. On this video, we will be talking about Metro Manila traffic. The worsening traffic in Metro Manila now costs 3.5 billion peso in lost opportunities per day according to Japan International Cooperation Agency. What makes Metro Manila traffic, if not worst, one of the worst in the world? Based on most people's observation, traffic in Manila is caused by huge vehicles and narrow roads. Oops, I almost forgot to include traffic violators and things on the road. The truth is, traffic congestion is caused by multiple causes. It can be too many cars on the road due to inadequate public transportation, obstacles that blocks the road, or in Metro Manila's case, extreme weather conditions that cause flooding. The current situation is screaming the need for new and modern infrastructures. If new infrastructures will not work, I guess people should start driving flying cars. But there is good news. The government is already rolling out a lot of projects. They call it game-changing projects that will ease the traffic in the metro. This is part of the current administration's build, build, build program, which will cost roughly about 8 trillion peso. Wow. I love Metro Manila. I love what I see in the city. I love the people, the people who can smile even when they are stuck in heavy traffic. But I wonder, how long can people keep that smile on their faces? I read somewhere, in Manila, every hour is rush hour. Right now, traffic jam in Manila really, really sucks. So join me again on my next video and thank you so much for watching. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. <laughs> I'm Kikers Kalbo in Kentucky. Just want to say thank you to all of the people who subscribe to the channel and will subscribe, of course, uh, about my channel.